If you've got a big yellow spider like this in your yard, pay attention, because in just a few minutes, we're gonna talk about what it is, where it came from, and what you can do about it. This is the Joro spider. It's a really interesting spider with a fascinating story. They are native to East Asia, and they made their way to the United States probably in the early 2010s. Extremely common in this part of the country at this point. They are large yellow spiders with a yellow and gray abdomen. We've got a couple other different types of spiders here that look really similar. The garden spider is one. For the garden spiders, they have a web that's got that really thick white line that goes right down the middle of the web. And when they sit in the web, they keep their legs together. So it looks like they've got four thick legs compared to eight sort of skinny legs like these spiders have. Garden spiders also have a lot of black on their abdomen where these spiders have a yellow and gray bands. As you get closer to the southeastern U.S. coast, you'll also find banana spiders, which look a lot like these, except their abdomen is almost completely yellow. And with the banana spiders, the black parts on their legs are even hairier, like the females are wearing big, thick socks. I live in an area where Joro spiders have been on my property for several years. I've seen their populations explode over the last couple years, maybe two or three years especially. With any new species, we're always concerned with impacts. What are they doing to the environment, to where they're going? Joro spiders are no different. So we've got these great big orb weaving spiders and you can see their web stretches from this tree to this tree. It's over six feet of web and it's a great big thing that stretches all the way to the ground. Spiders are indiscriminate prey takers, meaning whatever flies into there is gonna get captured and eaten. You can see here, there's a brown marmorated stink bug right there, a known invasive species, so that's great. She's got a cockroach she's eating right now. I think most people agree that's good. Get rid of some of those cockroaches around the house. But there's also what looks like the head of a wasp, and wasps are very beneficial creatures. So as you can see, these things eat whatever flies in there. We have colleagues and we are also working on what are the impacts of these spiders? What are they eating? Are they pushing out native spiders? So for instance, where you've got a lot of Joro spiders, do you have less garden spiders, for instance? We don't have the answers to those questions yet and we're working really hard to try to figure out what these things are doing to our environment. Here's a spider that looks like it could be dangerous, right? It's big, brightly colored. But it's really not. Uh, there, there's no evidence that it's a danger to people or pets. There's no evidence that it can even bite through human skin. These are spiders out there just trying to catch things and eat them. I've held these on countless occasions. My kids have held these. I've known other people that have held these. They just do this. They're crawling around. Yes, they can look big, and yes, some people are quite afraid of spiders, but the reality is there's really no danger these pose to people or pets. Management of Joro spiders is tricky because there's not a lot of really good long-term options. They're soft-bodied things, so a lot of stuff will kill them. But frankly, the easiest thing to do is just move it. Spiders put webs where it's a good location. So when you've got a spider right here on the side of the house, it's here because it likes that location. The easiest thing you can do is take something like a broom, simply get the web in the spider, and move it somewhere else. If you want to help out a little more, scientists can always use information on where these spiders are and how fast they're getting there. Simply take your iPhone or your Android, take a picture of one of these spiders and upload it to inaturalist.org. That information goes in a database and that will help us greatly in tracking where these non-native things are going. Thanks for watching everyone.